Hi everybody, it's Dino with One Tom Plumber again. I'm here in my backyard. I'm going to show you something that's uh, kind of a really cool little tip and it's how to use a water pressure gauge. Have you ever been in the shower and had to run around just to get wet? The water pressure is a little too low. Well, there's a way, way to find out um, how low it actually is or how high it is and I'm going to show you how with this little item called a water pressure gauge. Let me start by telling you a little bit about the water pressure gauge that I have. Um, there are basically two kinds of water pressure gauge. One with this red hand that you can see here and a black hand. And then there's others with just the black hand. The black hand is telling you what the water pressure is at the time you're taking the measurement. The red hand, if you decide to buy that, per that particular kind, is um, telling you if you leave the water pressure gauge on a spigot to test the water pressure over time it'll tell you where the highest fluctuation of water pressure was so that'll be a, probably a little higher than your regular measurement but in any case you can use either one doesn't matter um, the single hand is going to cost a little bit less but they're only like 10 to 20 bucks so this is a really inexpensive way to make sure your water pressure in your house is correct to your liking but also not destroying or damaging your pipes over time all right now this is the next step to check your water pressure on this dial if you do have the one with the uh, red handle which is basically a highest pressure gauge um, you want to set it at zero so there's a dial right here you just set it at zero now everything's set at zero right okay so what we're going to do is just attach it to an outside spigot and what you want to do is make sure that your here we go it's getting on there what you want to do is make sure that your water pressure is between about 35 and 80 you can go up as high as 85 pounds per square inch but it's probably best to keep it at 80 um, depending on the desire of water pressure that you want so right now we're at zero we want to turn this on but we also want to make sure that no one else in the house is using any water while you're doing this so make sure that happens and then simply turn the gauge on make sure it's not leaking which it's not ah, I move the gauge okay and we're at about it looks like right now we're at about 65 pressure which is pretty good now keep in mind that the older a home is it with older pipes you do not want to go all the way up to the 80 85 kind of limit because those older pipes are gonna have a lot of water pressure on them they could have fittings that are corroded etc and could you know bust easier so you probably want to keep it at around 50 to 60 in there regardless now if you want to change the water pressure we got to do one more thing and that's inside the house at the water supply shutoff area all right I've entered the basement and I found what I needed to find basically this is a pressure reducer valve it's a bell shape it's got a little bolt or screw at the end and it's attached to the main line of water that comes into your house from the city so this is the part that regulates how much water pressure you have and you increase or, de or decrease it by simply uh, changing the position of this bolt by counterclockwise or clockwise clockwise makes it uh, more water pressure counterclockwise reduces the water pressure you also want to check this little green or blue tag on your pressure reducer valve uh, it's also called a PRV but it'll give you a rating that says in this case the range is 25 to 75 pounds per square inch so we don't want to make it more than 75 you could bust the PRV valve so you want to keep your um, 
water pressure between 25 and 75. All right, so I'm just gonna adjust it. Now this is an old style with just a, a nut here holding this screw on and this bolt here attached to the screw. On the newer models, you'll actually see a, this nut won't be here. You'll actually just see a slot for to put in a screwdriver and you can turn it counterclockwise or clockwise. Um, on this one, we're just going to get a pair of uh, adjustable pliers and we want to increase the pressure. So we're going to adjust it clockwise and that's all it takes. Um, you want to do about a quarter to a half a turn, then go check, do another quarter and a half a turn, then go check again with your water gauge and make sure you're getting it just to the place that you want to be. All right, we've gone through the process and I'm going to recap it for you really quick. You take a water pressure gauge like this Watts version, there's other brands like Rainbird, etc. You put it on your spigot, you make sure nobody is running water in your house at the time you do this and then you turn the water on the black handle right here will tell you what your water pressure is then if you want to change it you go down into your water supply line area there's going to be a pressure reducer valve that looks like a bell shape and with a screwdriver or with just a channel lock pair of channel locks or adjustable pliers you want to go clockwise to increase the pressure, counterclockwise to decrease the pressure. That's all it takes to make sure you're getting the right shower stream in the morning or whenever you take your showers and everybody's happy. Just don't go above 80 and don't probably go below 35. Thanks a lot. This is Dino with One Tom Plumber. We'll see you next week with another video.